Hi folks, today a little competition. I'm going to test the Mark III, the Davis Mark III sextant against the Davis Mark 15, both plastic sextants. Uh, significant price difference. We will see if there is a difference in accuracy. Well, what we're going to do today is make an unscientific comparison between the accuracy of the Davis Mark III and the Davis Mark 15 plastic sextants. Of course, the first thing you do is you make the adjustments to your sextant to eliminate as many errors as you can. One I sight on a tree in the distance and uh, gets pretty close. Since I do not have a handy body of water that I can do my sightings with, I am using a Davis Artificial Horizon, as you can see. And I'll be sighting on the sun today. And there is a tree in the way. Right now, it's blocking the bulk of the sun. But later, as the sun moves out of the way, um, I'll get a better view of I'm it. I'm going to take uh, a total of six sightings with each sextant. Three of them will be lower limb if the branches of the trees cooperate, and the other three I'm just going to superimpose the images of the sun over each other, and I will average those out. So I'm going to basically get two sight reductions from each uh, sextant, and then we will see if there is a difference in accuracy. Let's give it a try. 78 degrees, 42 minutes, and remember, I'm using an artificial horizon, so I have to cut that in half when I go to do my sight reduction. This is visible. Actually, not able to do a lower or an upper limb sighting right now. I can only do the superimposed method um, because the branches of the trees are cutting up the images so much. Now, I'm not sure that this is going to give me a super accurate sighting anyhow, but it's better than not being able to do it. Figured out my six sightings here. Um, I figured an average time and the average sighting. And I took all of these, all six sightings over the course of about 10 minutes, and the two sextants are pretty close together. They're only 17 minutes different between the two averages, so that's not bad. And it's close to noon, so the sun's not moving a lot right now, and that sounds about right. We're probably within 20 minutes of noon, so I'm going to go ahead and plot these, and I will come back and show you my results. So there are the final results plotted out. That's my actual position there, the little green dot. And this purple line here, that is from the Mark III, the so-called lifeboat sextant. And this is from the Mark 15. The Mark III is about a half a mile out. The Mark 15 came out about six miles off. In this test, <laughs> this very unscientific test, the uh, the Mark III through trees and branches beat the Mark 15 through clouds. Well, the Mark III won. Uh, although, to be fair to the Mark 15, the clouds came out, and I was not able to do all the sightings that I had wanted to do. I was going to do some lower limb sightings from each sextant. Just didn't work out. I didn't have time. Um, but in the limited amount of time that we had, this one... Uh, was proved to be more accurate today. This one, however, is still within what you would expect from a plastic sextant. I'm told I was only about six miles out from my actual position, which is not too bad. And um, on another day, and I will try this again another day, but on another day, this may well uh, be the victor. But today, the accolades go to the Mark III.